What's up guys, Vincent is here. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize Roland Phantom and use it for recording on Cubase. As you know, Roland Phantom is more compatible with Ableton, but with recent update from Roland, which is EX update, this device can be compatible with Cubase and also with Studio One. But even if you don't have that update, you can also customize Roland Phantom and use it like a professional MIDI controller for yourself in your studio. In this video, I will show you how to do this. But before I start, I would like to ask you to support my channel with like and subscribe. That will be a great help for me. Okay, let's start it. Some people ask me if we can use this device as a MIDI controller. The short answer is yes. But the complete answer is this device is not designed to be a MIDI controller. It's designed for other purposes. But you can also customize it and use it like a professional device on your studio. But initially, when you first connect your Roland Phantom to your computer and install the driver from Roland website, you will see you can record your MIDIs, but Buttons like stop, play, and record will not connect to Cubase. For example, if I press record on Roland, you will see the internal recording for Phantom will activate it and it doesn't deal with Cubase and it doesn't control the Cubase. But instead, you can use some other buttons like S1 and S2. In this video, I'm going to use S1 for recording and S2 for <clears throat> uh, play and stop. Moreover, you can assign different functions to all these knobs and also all these faders. So you can control the variety of functions of Cubase with your Roland Phantom. Okay, let's have a look to my uh, Cubase first. And as you can see, I have a pad line. Let's see what we got there. Let's open this edit instrument and boom, we got Novo sound there and see what we got there. And as you can see, I have this sound. Okay, but right now, if I move the feeder on Roland, you will see only the volume for the VST will change. And if I th move this one on the side and I move the fader, you will see I move the fader, but it doesn't make any change on the mixer or the volume up there, okay? Or even if I move the knob here, it doesn't affect the panning on uh, Cubase. So you have to assign functions to these faders and knobs. In order to do so, you must go to MIDI Remote. So press MIDI Remote. As you can see here, no MIDI controller assigned or connected to my Cubase. So I press Add and I go to select the vendor. I go for Roland. Okay, I select Roland there. The model is Phantom. Okay, and I put Phantom there. Here we can put your name if you want. And for input port, you can go for Phantom 678, and it's gonna be the same for your output port. Then, then it's time to create your MIDI controller surface. So press this button and you'll be here. Let me make this page bigger for you. And as you can see on the left side, you got different features like knob, fader, bottom, trigger pad, pitch pins and modulations. Let's make a fader first, okay? I select fader. As you can see, the shape change here. And you can also change the size the way you want. And uh, now it's time to assign one fader to that shape. You can go for any of these faders. I go for the first one and I move this fader a little bit. Once I do that, my fader will create it here. Let's go and create a knob. So I select knob, as you can see the shape change. I adjust the 
size and you can go for any of these knobs okay i got the first knob there you can go for more knobs or for more faders if you want i stay on this features only because i don't want to make this video too long okay let's make bottoms so i select outside and select bottom and i'll press s1 here on roland and now i press s2 and i will get two bottoms here okay up to now we got one fader one knob and two bottoms okay now it's time to assign a function to these features in order to do so just press go to mapping assistant and boom you will be here as you can see you have your knob your fader and now you can control them if you want so <clears throat> even it's going to be the same for your bottoms let's select the knob first and assign a function of panning so i will go for select track on this list you can go for different functions and assign them to your features on your list okay so i selected the knob and i will go for pan left and right and i will double click on it and it will assign to my knob here now select my fader and i will go for volume double click on volume and it assigned boom it's here now let's go for uh, my record bottom on Cubase. So S1 gonna be my record bottom. So I go for transport and I will select record and boom, you got your record bottom there. Let's try for S2 for stop and start. So I will uh, go for the list. As you can see, there is a lot of functions on this list, so it's better to search if you want, don't want to uh, look for it. So start and stop. So yeah, we got it there. So double click on it and yeah, we got it there. So let's close this page and test. And uh, right now, let me make it smaller and bring the mixer console again and uh, select my VST sound. And now it's time to move the fader. Wow, yeah, it's work. As you can see, it controls my mixer and it uh, control also the volume here also. And let's try the knob. Yeah, that works. Once I move the knob, you can see the pannings move around and let's try the recording, okay. Let's try S1 on my Roland. Okay, I press S1. So that works. So I press S2 to stop. Okay, let's press S2 again to start and listen to it. Okay, stop it. Let's do something more. And let's bring this volume pen here and play it again. And But this time I will activate right automation. Okay. And let's press S2 for play. But this time I will move this fader once it's playing. Okay. So play. <laughs> that's cool stop and as you can see you can control the volume manually here with your Roland Phantom moreover you can go for other functions you have a lot of functions here you have also more functions to, under, to the other list so you can do a lot of things and make your own setup and have a lot of fun with it okay that's it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this video Leave me any comments. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer them. Take care and have a good one. Bye.